Hello everyone, Alien Volt here, and it is part 7 of the forest. And I am low on supplies. So I'm still working away at my fortress here, trying to barricade myself in with a nice secure wall that's going to go around the perimeter to keep out all of the crazies. And this game seems to be in no short supply of those. Day six was quite busy. Lots of people trying to take my body parts. Make a soup out of them. Cannibal soup. Definitely had a close call on day six. My health was down to a sliver. Not that it's that far up right now. If you take a look, it's only about a quarter up. I definitely need to eat and replenish my supplies. I thought that by sleeping and resting, I would, I would build up my health, but it doesn't. It just builds up your stamina. But the problem is, this is a survival game, and I don't have much to eat outside of some lizards and rabbits that I'm catching. And uh, you can't really eat them all that often. I don't know whether it's a bug or whether it's intended that way, but you can't, like, stuff yourself on them. Um, once you eat them, there's almost like a, a cool down before you can eat another one. Come back, you stupid lizard. I need to eat. There we go. <coughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm doing the crazy dance right now. It's because I ran through the damn fire. So now I'm burning. Taking more damage on my already low health. Alright, we're going to eat a bunny. We're going to have a bunny kebab. That lizard just killed himself in the fire. That's awesome. I didn't even have to chase him down. I don't know what the deal is. I can't make that fire for some reason. It keeps bugging out. Maybe because it's too close to the other one? So now I've got the secondary fire over the first one. The fire pit, rather. Not fire. The fire pit. Um... So maybe I'll be able to make the second one over the original one that I'd laid down there. That for some reason it wouldn't allow me to finish it. The game's kind of buggy that way. Occasionally something will bug and it just won't complete. Oh, great. Another friendly native. Come by to share my fire with me. That's it. Walk right in it. <laughs> now burn up and die. Come on. There you go. Dumbass. And now I need another bath. Hopefully he was a lone scout. Oh, he was not. Lovely. Two more. This is great! Rather than spending my time building things, I'm going to be fighting. I've got to get my walls built here. This is getting ridiculous. I didn't think they'd come over this far near the 
edge, but apparently they are, so I'll throw that one up there, and I know they're not going to get past that because that's like almost a sliver where you'd have to jump. you got to scoot by that one, otherwise you're ending up and down the cliff in the water. Looks like the other two went ahead and left. Very odd, considering I was almost face-to-face -face with them. They weren't that far off. And I just killed their buddy. Now this is either the same ones or it's another pack. I can't even tell. But they're definitely making their way towards me. You know what? I think I'm going to get a tree on this side. That way I can finish off that wall. They won't even be able to get to me on this side. Couldn't find my other log, of course. It rolled through my barricade. Hopefully they're not able to get through. That would be pretty irritating. I just spent the last two episodes trying to survive to build my wall up to where it is right now. I'm probably going to be able to finish it this episode depending on how many attacks I get. And if they can get through and it serves no purpose, that will be quite irritating. These damn walls. Oh man. See that just set down crooked. Look at the gap. And you can't you can't replace it. That is stupid. All right, I just tried to set it down to overlap the other one, and now I've got some type of arrowhead fence going on here. And I still didn't cover up the area right there that I needed to cover up. And the branch isn't going anywhere. I can't take that down. All right, perfect. Well, I guess we'll get some wood and fill it in. Maybe it'll confuse them. The graphics in this game are actually pretty good, but it's definitely unfinished. There's plenty of areas where the rocks don't actually touch and you can see through, uh, you know, the space, the empty space of the map will be visible. Or there's some areas where the water, you know, should be like a waterfall and it, it's just really put together poorly at this point. But it is a very early access for alpha. Um, realistically, most alphas are barely playable, so 
It's it's looking pretty good. And now we have incoming. Nice. And I have barely even started my wall. But that's good. She's stupid enough to walk right in the fire. Oh, and he ran right next to it. That's too bad he didn't get into it. That have took care of two uh, two lunatics and one fail swoop. I need food. My health's about halfway up right now. What's nice is you can uh, use the skins from the lizards and the rabbits and stuff like that to actually increase your armor. Man, this sure is a lot of chops on this little tiny tree. Alright, we're gonna cook a lizard. Buff up our armor so we're ready to go. If crazies come back, hopefully we'll be alright. I don't want to leave because I don't know if the lizard will disappear if I go away too far. Like if it overcooks or just forgets that I put it on the fire. There we go. We're ready to go now. Alright, let's look for our logs here. Get my arrow tip built. Man, I've got all kinds of logs down here. At least they didn't roll into the water. I wish I could pick more than two up at a time, though. That's kind of a pain. I really hope that opening's not large enough for him to glitch through. Cause that's a pretty big opening. That's almost a full log there. You really should be able to move that stuff around. If you position it and it's not right, you should be able to move it around, especially before you finalize it. Like, once you get all the logs in place, it should ask you, do you want to finalize it or something? Well, looks like we're going to have incoming again. They got the strange mating calls going back and forth to each other again. They're going to try to make me dinner yet. I really want to get my barricade up because I want to see how well it defends against them. I don't know whether it's something they can actually break down and you have to continuously repair. Or once you have it up, that's it. I mean, they'll never be able to get in. I have a feeling they'll be able to tear it down. Because if they can't, at least in the future, then it would make dealing with them pretty much uh, not even a threat once you build the fort. So if you work with someone and build like this huge garrison, you wouldn't even have to worry about them ever again. Because they're really not that hard to kill out in the wild as long as you don't get too many of them on you. So I have a feeling they're going to be able to tear it up. Alright, let's set up a trap here. Great. I just set that up the wrong way. The spikes are faced inward. Again, not intentional. There's nothing I can really do about it.
<laughs> a little tree gave me branches instead of logs. Well, that was useless. Alright, I still have some logs down here I need to collect. Are these edible? I know there's poisonous flowers, so you really got to be careful what you collect. I like how the tree sways as it's falling down. That's pretty cool. Alright, well we almost have our backwards trap built. It's not gonna fall on anybody here on the outside, but I guess if they manage to glitch through the wall, hopefully it'll still spring on them. If not, it should at least keep them from glitching through the wall. I hope. <laughs> Great. Look at that gap. Well, it sounds like we have company, so this will be a perfect place for me to end the video. Thanks for watching, tune in for the next part, and I'll see you next time.